Look what a mess I've got. <clears throat> Just in time for my new camera. We're changing colors. That's our new color. Uh, that's our old color. But I've got everything pulled out on the floor everywhere. But I had a challenge for a point style. I've been chipping a little bit here lately. I could get my camera back or a camera back can't beat the deal I had on the camera that I bought two years ago I had I took out the two-year plan and used the camera for a year and a half and probably turned it on a thousand times and off in the heat and the cold and everything and uh, I bought the two-year extended warranty and uh, so when I called the manufacturer about it or what not, they're gonna mail me the purchase price of the camera, less what I paid for the two year extension, which was $32, so uh, I used that camera for a year and a half for $32. And needless to say, I bought the same camera. This time I purchased a $39 three year plan. No brainer, really, to pay an extra seven bucks for another year. I made that little turkey tail out of some flakes I had laying around. I made a I made a hunt last week, and I'll, I'll I'll put that video on here in just a little bit. But I wanted to show you these things I've been working on. This right here is really cool. I like this point. I mean, I can't. I guess you'd call it somewhat like a big sandy notches are a little wide base is a little bizarre but I like that point right there it's got three tones in it that right there in the center that you see is just real real porous and the tip's got some nice black and, and the bottom's got brown with the lightning stripe that runs down through it on both sides it's just a real cool piece I'd love it if I was to find one like that out in the field somewhere. See my little copper welds right there that I couldn't ever get off. I done that trying to pick a stack that was in the thing. That's a cool style point though. Anyway. Check out this thing. This is some rough stone right here. It's got a dry spot in the rock right through there it goes all the way through to the other side and then right above it i don't know if you can see it or not there's some fossilized stuff going on inside the rock both above and below that porous spot you may be able to better see it on this side and then the bottom's brown and the tip's black I've been finding some turkey tails here lately and I thought I'd just try to make me one. None of my stuff's perfect, but I like it. It'd get the job done. This is like four and seven eighths. Pretty thin. I like trying to make those big points. When you get them down that thin, start hitting on them, it sounds like you're hitting on the edge of a plate. That's a nice piece though. But the challenge piece I had was to make a hardened point. And uh, of course I told Paleo Man I couldn't probably make one that was five and a quarter like he made out of that Burlington that he got from Brooksy. But I did make one four and three quarters. And these right here that I made, I know it, they're different than what Paleo Man made, but these are the style hardens that we typically find, you know, down in our area, more so than what you find in the Northwest like uh, Paleo Man made. 
a lot of these are that's not necessarily considered a knobbed harden this one right here would be a knobbed harden um, then I think there's one on the other page that they consider that a knobbed harden but all these others are just considered plain hardens and you can see the base is quite a bit different on the ones down in this area than they are northwest area which I've seen most hardens made from that was replicated was the northwest version but I done the uh, things most typical around this area this one turned out pretty good not hardly as thin as the turkey tail I notice it's got some things about it that's not probably common with the harden hardens or most of the time they taper in to more of a blunted top tip rather than so pointed with the exception of that one but even with this one it's a little bit more pointed but I give it a shot anyway if I'd have rounded that tip I'd have lost a quarter inch so well, no point in doing that I just don't have a lot of success with this hornstone getting them flakes to travel all the way across there pressure flaking that thing it is so so tough for me and I've yet to find I've yet to buy me any copper nails I've used copper wire and and I was informed that the nails are probably got a little more alloy in them and they're harder which may result in a better pressure flake traveling across the face of these but anyway there's my attempt I think it'd do the trick if it needed to be needed to anyway I'll get this video coming at you appreciate the challenge paleo man I'm not trying to compete with you no competition there you know, hands down, everybody knows who the best is. But you can keep showing yours anyway. You know, we like all, we all like seeing them. <laughs> Later.